saw Boy, you don't believe the shit that we saw, yeah We saw Turn it up, uh, Boy, you won't believe the shit that we saw. Respect the shooter films. Mm. You're here with a little nitty. Who we at right now, nitty? Poppy oh, Block. Poppy Block. Oh, shit. All right, I'm telling you, my, my, it's Poppy Block. Poppy died right here on the same corner we standing on. That shit. What part of the city is this? Up top, Somerville. It's our own. It's the trenches. It's our own. It's our own. It's our own. It's our own. They yeah, said it for me. So for the people that don't know you, how you get the name Lil Nitty? Lil Nitty, Lil Nitty came from, for real, for real, all right, I was a young boy, my pop, my pop, he used to call himself Frank Nitty, and he just called me Frankie Tarantino or some shit, but I'm like, no, I want your name. So I just started taking his shit, but he spelled his joint with like two T's, so I used to always see everybody spelling his name with two T's, two T's, and then one day my engineer at, uh, at the Factory 808, I think I went to, uh, he made a, what the fuck song I made? I feel I made some song, but when he saved my file, he saved it under Nitty. When he put two Ds in it, I was like, no, nah, bro, that's not how you spell my name. He was like, oh, my bad, I'll change it. So later when I got in the crib, I started looking at it. I'm like, let me search up. I started searching around. I ain't seen nobody else with two Ds. And I'm thinking like, damn, I think I, I like it. And the way I pronounce it, it sounded like I pronounce it with two Ds. So I just kept that and ran with it. So how long you been rapping? Um, I've been rapping since, since, since Deke died. How many years ago was that? That was like 15? 15? Yeah, it been like 15. Since, since Deke died, I played my first song, uh, Lost My Dog, I think it was. Lost My Dog. And that shit was right here out of the candlelight. I'm like, damn, I got some shit to talk about. And my man, it's crazy because my man, I went to school where he called me like, yo, bro, same day. He called me like, yo, I got a studio. Uh, let me know if you want to make some songs or something. You can come through. I'm like, damn, it's a crazy coincidence. And my man just died. I want to put this shit on the track. And then ever since then, I've been going ever since then. That shit crazy. You listen to your mixtape. Right. Your style kind of is different. How do you describe that? My style, pain, a little bit of pain with a with a mixer. A mixer, I don't know, bro. You got for you. I, def you got I definitely can give you everything. It's crazy because I, I wasn't even a hook ball. Like right now, I feel like I'm a hook ball, bro. Like I ain't even. I couldn't even make hooks for real for a bro. That's one of my was one of my struggles. I couldn't make a hook to save my life. And then I don't know, I just started coming out with the hooks. Speaking for the trenches for real, for real. So like, I don't know. I let the people leave with my style. I don't I don't know my style. I just know I'm hot as shit. Real shit, don't make me the villain. Everybody out here gonna call you the hood prospect. Tell me how you got that name. Long live on Willis. That was Willis' name on the, um on Twitter. It was Hood Prospect. And for the longest, I used to always see that shit. When I was a young boy, I'm like, yo, what the fuck do that mean? So I Googled it one day, and that shit said it was like likely to exceed. Likely to succeed. So I took it and ran with it. Then after he died, I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna just keep keep the name alive. So I started running with that ever since. And I really felt like that. I really felt like I was the Hood Prospect at the time. So then. I just kept in the ring with it. It is what it is. You can't, you can't really, you can't, you can't hear my music and say I'm not the hood prospect. You put on for the veil, man. Niggas ain't the base of the Willis, Willis, that's my, damn. Willis is a, 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 a old head, a old head of mine. They're show me around for real, for real. Willis, Willis made me a better, a better, a better person. A hustler. I watched this nigga do so much, and it was crazy because, like, I never wanted to ride. He was like, "Yo, nigga, what you doing?" I'm like, "I ain't doing nothing." He was like, "All right, take this ride." He used to have me ride with him. Then I, I just got my. Oh, I couldn't even drive for for. He used to make me drive him everywhere. Yo, drive, go ahead and drive. And I used to be bitching. He'd be like, "No, go ahead and drive." He had some new shit too. I'm like, "Yo, he ain't even worrying about me smacking his joint out of nothing." And then I was just watching him, watching the way he move around every day. Everybody knew him. Everybody showed that nigga love. And he showed me love. Like, one day I'm asking him, like, yo, bro, I fuck with that hoodie. Where you get that hoodie from? He's some oh, I just grabbed this on. You like it? I'm like, yeah, where you get it from? He's some no, I get it on to you right now. I'm like, no, I don't want it. So, no, real shit. He went in the crib, came back out with a bag, and gave me the hoodie, bro. The whole sweatshirt we just bought, just popped the tags off. I'm like, damn, that shit crazy. That's, that, niggas, niggas don't do type of shit like that, bro. And it got to the point where... I don't even want to go too much in detail. Now we're going, we're going, I'm going to say that for another time. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 
So we're in Uptown. What is it like growing up around here? Growing up around here, it's, it gave you a reality check. It, it definitely, a little bit of everything, bro. Trend, this shit get real, real quick. You just right. got, you just got, yeah, yeah. for real, for real, learn how to move, keep your head up, because that shit, that shit, put it, go listen to the music, and you're going to see. That, that, that's basically what I can say. Facts, all facts in the music. It's but beyond beyond some street shit, though, the vibe crazy, though. Vibe, the love, bro. Genuine people, genuine friends. And bed, and all we do is bed every day, all day long. But aside, aside from that, that shit, it should definitely get weird. Get it fucked up, though. We bed, but we yeah. This shit either um, gonna make you or break you. It's either how you adapt. Real shit, that, that's, that's the easiest way to put it. It's gonna make you, it's gonna break you. Right. It, it, it break a lot of niggas. You, yeah. you ain't solid, don't come around here. But there's some niggas that ain't even around them where. Yeah. Don't make me the villain. This is soft for mixing, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, this is my second tape. The first tape I dropped, I was a young boy. But uh, don't make me the villain. That's the one. This this the one, bro. And I, I ain't even know this was the one like that until probably just just a couple days ago me just actually tuning in for the first time like start to finish just being quiet and just listening to that shit because don't make me the villain i got the title from this my everyday shit so it was like i, I never i never was like the outgoing i never i was always quiet for for i never really was into much but then it was like niggas start trying to test my hand so that's where the john came from it was like all right so don't make me the villain it's, the title speak for itself the music yeah. speak for itself yeah. everything speak for itself some of your favorite tracks don't make me feel like why my favorite track damn bro the keep it a bean i don't know i i don't got no favorite the jones i fuck with safe i fuck with safety maintaining sick i fuck with sick a lot i fuck with I, sick might be one of my favorite jones nina nina one of my jones i fuck with nina because i feel like nina got more the song with more meaning to it like but I don't know, bro. All that shit hot, bro. You listen to all that shit. I don't know. I don't know to keep it a bean. Oh, shit, all the You mentioned sick. You dropped the visual. The numbers going up. What was it like putting it together? What was it like putting it together? Um, putting that shit together was, but sick gonna always mean be a good joint. Cause one, the song hot as shit. I ain't even know this shit was gonna come out like that. And two, that was my John getting my man, my man rapping again. Prices, he he tried. Shit wasn't really. Shit got weird, but he he copped out a little bit. He fell back off the music tip. So one day, I pulled up on him. I'm like, bro, let's start listening to this beat. I'm like, I need you to do this, John. I sent it to him. And um, I don't know if he was doing it or not. I wasn't even like pressing it or nothing. But my girl booked a session for me from. Well, much that yeah, there, my and um. Book this session, surprise session at that. I ain't even know about it. Pull up, everybody there, prices, everybody there. And then Wesley with John, we in there and laid. That was the most recent John we talked about working on. He went in the booth and laid that shit. I'm like, damn. I ain't even know, I ain't even know his shit was like that. I'm like, yo, this John, how this shit? And we went in there and laid it from there. And after that, it was a, it was a wreck. Right, that put everything back in motion. You and Price has been mentioning Wave. What is Wave? Who's all a part of it? Waveland is Waveland a label. Waveland is like a group. They they not out here right now, but that's a group of some of my other homies. It's pretty much a lot of a lot of motherfuckers I went to school with, for real, for real. We um we pretty much from all different neighborhoods, but we just all went to most of us, the majority of us went to school of the future. And then we met from there. We started linking up outside of school and then we started all doing the music shit together. So at the after we paid, put Waveland, it was like at first I wasn't even I wasn't even like the, the biggest Waveland John. I was like, it's just my niggas. I'm, on, I'm not even on the Waveland shit, but we start locking in. Everybody put their heads together and that shit, we just start taking taking off with that shit. And then what really did it was when I when I when I actually start being on some Waveland shit, I start putting the, the Waveland clothes out, the D2XX Waveland Jones. And them Jones went crazy. Like they had this shit had the, the summer on, like on some whole other shit, like Bro, I was getting calls up the fucking counties I never seen before. Little white boys, a fucking yard full of white boys with basketball courts and shit. Tell me pop my trunk and what I got, but that shit was crazy, bro. That was a nice little wave. So how you feel about the music scene here in Philly? The music scene in Philly, I feel like 
I feel like it, it's definitely better than it, what it used to be. I feel like a lot of niggas... A lot, I can say that. A lot of niggas on these shit, bro. A lot of niggas on these shit. I listen to... I don't listen to everybody, but I do listen to a couple niggas from the city. I feel like niggas on these shit, but I, I do feel like... I feel like the city is like... Like right now, I don't got the whole city yet. I, I'm definitely on the verge, though, but niggas... niggas Sleep, I don't know, bro. Don't the sleep. city weird a little bit, bro. I don't know how to describe it. I don't even want to say it's like a dicky and city is like a. I don't know, bro. That shit weird. It's like niggas jump on board when they want to jump on board. They got, they got to, they want to see some shit for it. Yeah, they, they. I don't know. That shit weird, bro. Talk a lot of pain in your music. From songs like safety, maintaining, process, and battles on. What was your thoughts on writing these stuff? Maintaining. Process and battles on. Safety. All right. So maintaining. When I was making maintaining, it was at night. See, at night when I do a lot of my thinking, like really, I was just in that mood. Came home, it's like three or something in the morning. I just happened to just be on YouTube or some shit. Um, I found the beat. I'm like, oh shit, this is on hot. So I just start. I, I put that shit on, and I don't know, bro. Like a lot of my songs, I don't even be knowing, like. I don't never plan for certain things to come out. I just be putting beats on and whatever the fuck I'm feeling at the moment, that shit just be coming out. That shit be sounding good, bro. So I just be running with that shit. I be like, damn, I just keep going. And then that shit just be coming out crazy. I don't, that shit ridiculous. But process, safety. When I was making safety, a lot of my songs, and this is another thing, like I never, I never was a freestyle boy. I always had like, used to like take time and watch shit. But like, being in certain situations in certain like areas and shit and music i had to learn to just make some shit as i go so one day i'm in quiet i think i made safety while i was in quiet one of the two i forgive but that shit that just be how i feel bro like it ain't no such thing as safety i feel like it really ain't no such thing as safety ain't nobody safe no matter what you think safe there's no way you can be safe you come out the crib you not safe as soon as you leave out the door like that shit and, and safety was like, all right, I'm going to start them off with that to let them know that. I'm going to let them know who the fuck I am. And I'm going to let them know I'm coming on a hook trip. Because a lot of, a lot of motherfuckers can't be hooked, bro. And I, before, I couldn't. So that's what this thing, I was embracing it. I was embracing the fact that I really can get crazy with the hooks. Um, and process. Process. That shit. I made that in Atlanta. I was in the A. I made that shit in the studio session as well. And, um process it was like i don't really want to go detail to behind the meaning of the process but that shit definitely got 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 it got a meaning behind it it was it was it was made that way for a reason like when i'm saying i hope i don't have to park this nigga like he rules it can't believe that these niggas really thought i was over niggas niggas thought like oh little nitty out of there it ain't it was just sending a message that's all the message got to the to, to the nigga it needed to be sent it to your doing well. 55k streams on all platforms. How you that shit. I ain't think it was gonna do. Like I knew that shit was hot, but you know me. I always, I always was fighting for the attention. I always, I always had the talent, but I was fighting for everybody's attention. So for, to see that shit do that so fast the first week, and then I asked my man, I'm like, yo, what you think? What you think a good number is for like the first week dropping on time? He said a little 10, a little 10k cool for the first week. I'm like, alright, bet seen the views that shit was way past that i'm like damn i wasn't expecting that shit. i'm like oh it's only up from here and and everybody know what's up bro niggas niggas know what's up bro i'm gonna just leave it at that niggas know what's up a lot of niggas know what's up next i'm thinking about dropping a, a whole nother tape on them and another I, I got so much work bro for real for real this tape i just dropped right now was pretty much the like all right, show him, like, to stop playing with you. Because, like, I was giving niggas passes. Like, niggas saying Lil Nitty wasn't the hottest nigga. I'm like, all right, bet. I got to put this out so they can put some respect on my name. And then I'm going to hit him over top of the head with the with the killer after that. So, this shit, I feel like this, 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 for real, for real, niggas think this the hottest shit ever. But this not even none of the hottest shit, bro. This is just, like, it's just a warm-up and they don't even dig it yet, bro. They really don't need. They gonna see though. Y'all gonna feel our pain. They, they gonna feel that shit, bro. And, and a lot of motherfuckers. And this tape made a lot of niggas. A lot of niggas show put, put respect on my name. And a lot of motherfuckers watching. I don't wanna say who, 
put say you know I don't want to like speak on too much yet, but like they definitely watching, bro. For sure, for sure. So it's hard for people to reach you. People can reach me at everything. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, Lil Nitty, every, Lil Nitty underscore everything. Twitter, Lil Nitty underscore. I'm not. That's only two sources I'm really. You know, I just started getting back on Twitter. I got to build my my Twitter back up a little bit. Um, over that. YouTube, everything is Lil Nitty. I, I'm the only Lil Nitty out there, so you can just type Lil Nitty. Don't forget uh, the two D. That's that's what the. I want to talk about that too. The two D. Don't ever forget that. the two D shit. That shit like made me so much bread because like that's what I started the whole little clothing. You see this shit right here. That shit came. That shit came a long way, bro. That shit by accident though. It was just so when I made the name. After I said I was sticking with the name. One thing I'm playing with fonts and shit, I'm saying D two times, and it was because a lot of motherfuckers used to mess up my name. Used to always put T's in the name, so I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna put it on the shirt. And there was no way you can forget that shit. It's like, um, everything on the way, everything. I just want one thing. I do want to say, it ain't no U turn, bro. Like motherfuckers had their chance, and. And if you wasn't fucking with me then, or when I was trying to fuck with motherfuckers, don't try to fuck with me, man. That shit over with. That shit really. And listen, they don't dig it right now, but give, give it a, a month or two. They, they gonna see what the fuck I'm talking about. That shit, that shit gonna get crazy. Long live deep, long live Willis, long live Poppy. Life got its ups and downs like seesaw. I can't wait to see the day that we ball. I've been going through a lot, but I'm maintaining. 